Hi guys! So today's video is going to be a book haul and like usual most of the books we've purchased recently my husband and I have come from our local used bookstores. We get a bunch of store credit and then we just accumulate new books that we're interested in. Jumping right into the book haul the first book is the third book in the Jim Butcher series The Dresden Files and you guys know if you've watched any of my recent videos that I have fallen in love with the series. I just finished the second one this morning and I just love them so much. You guys have told me that they get even better as they go, which is so exciting because I already think that they're so great. For those of you that don't know, this follows a wizard detective in our own world. He is in Chicago in the USA and it's just super funny. It's such a fun take on some of your traditional like werewolves and vampires and like those kinds of things. It makes them so funny, but there's also, because he's a detective, this sense of like a mystery novel type style, but it's so much fun. I highly, highly recommend it. Total new favorite series of mine. Next up is a book that actually uh, came as a recommendation, or at least this author came as a recommendation from one of the salesmen at one of the local used bookstores where I live. That same salesman recommended the Dresden Files series to me, so I totally trust that guy's opinion now. <laughs> the book is, um, I'm not quite sure how to say the title, Tigana, Tigana, but it's by Guide Gabriel K, and I've heard multiple people even on booktube talk about this author and say that he uses a lot of elements from historical, uh, just from history, so it has a sense of like a historical fiction type of story. I am so excited for it because historical fiction is probably my next favorite genre after fantasy. I just think, as long as guns weren't around yet, I just tend to not like any time period after guns were made, but anything with like empires and kingdoms and swords and knights and things like that, I just so excited for. Are you guys like that at all? Because I know a lot of people really love World War II type historical fiction stuff, but for me there's something about historical fiction that takes place when there were like swords and everything that just, I can't believe that that was our world at one point. It just feels so, so far in the past that it's crazy. It just feels more like fantasy. That's probably why I like it. Next up are some books that I honestly shouldn't have probably gotten, but I've been trying really hard to not buy the second or the third or the fourth or whatever in a series unless I've read the first one. And I haven't read the first one to this yet, but I own it and I think it sounds awesome and it has really good reviews, so I went ahead and let myself get the next two. I had store credits, so it's not like I was really spending money. <laughs> but that would be A Dance of Blades and Dance of uh, Mirrors by David Dalglish. I love assassins. I love any story with assassins in it and that's kind of what these books have. I mean, it's just like plastered on the cover. I'm like waving them around so you guys can't even really see the covers, but if you guys have heard anything about this series, let me know because I've not heard anybody talk about it, but I think it seems really, really cool and like I said, it's got really good ratings when you look up the star ratings and stuff, so... I'm excited for it, but I can't really comment on uh, the content itself. The next book I got was a gift from my husband, whose channel I'll link down below, but he felt bad for me because I was sick for a while, and he was like, so since you're sick and you don't feel good, I'm gonna buy you a book because he's the best. And I was like, well, okay. And then so we went to the bookstore, he had a coupon for Barnes & Noble, and I saw this book and I was like, I have never heard anybody talk about it. And that cover is so bizarre that I have to get it. And I, I mean, I still read the back of the book and it, the plot sounds bizarre also, but look at this cover. Is that not like the most intriguing cover you've ever seen? So the book is called Strange pa Practice and it's by Vivian Shaw. And it's about a character who's inherited her family business of like treating mummies and banshees and just random weird like things. And I was like, that sounds... That sounds absurd. I've never heard of it. I think that the cover is so crazy and I just, I don't know, it sounds really fun. Next up is another book that it just, the plot is really kind of a uh, crazy and a morbid plot and when I read who the author was, I was like, oh, that makes sense. It's Neil Shusterman who is the author of the book Scythe, which I haven't read yet, but that book is about people, like nobody dies anymore, so there's like a group of people that have to go around and kill people so that you know, I guess like the population doesn't get too big. Um, and I'm like, that's a really morbid plot, so like, I have to have that book. And then I saw this book, and it's book one of the Unwind Distology, and it's about a society where people up until the age of 13 are safe essentially, but then from the ages of 13 to 18, they can be turned in to have their body unwound, so they 
take their body parts and they use all their organs and stuff like that for other people and the parents are allowed to do this and give their children up or things like that because they're not technically dead yet because their body parts are still around. So the story follows three different characters who are trying to escape having this awful thing happen to them and I just think that that sounds so morbid and dark and I I wanted it. Next up is a book that doesn't quite sound so dark and morbid and is by a, a really really well-known author in the fantasy world and is L.E. Modisette Jr. which I might have said wrong and I'm really sorry but it's called Imager and it's about a person who is an imager and they can, let me make sure I get it right, they possess the power to visualize things and make them real and I think that that sounds really cool. It's the first book in a series, I think the third one recently just came out and I'm not the biggest fan of this cover but the third one's cover kind of had like, I think it even said the word assassin in the title so I was like, oh, darn it. And then I went and found the first one and it was used and in really good condition and I had store credit so it worked out. And the last book I got was once again a gift from my wonderful hubby because we recently celebrated our two year anniversary and we like each other a lot. We wanted to get each other presents. So I ended up buying him the movie Logan, which was kind of like a present for myself because I love that movie. And he ended up buying me the book Mask of Shadows, which I don't know a ton about, but if you guys watch Possibly Literate's channel, which you should because she is hilarious and she's super smart, she mentioned this book. She said she read it recently and she thought it was pretty good. And so I thought, all right, I'm going to pick that book up and give it a shot. It sounds like it's kind of a competition type story and it sounds like it's a competition type story. What is happening with the lighting right now? A competition to become this queen's new uh, assassin and join a part of her personal guard. And of course, I mean, assassins. But also, um, I think this cover looks really cool and because Emily said she thought it was a pretty good book, I figured I was gonna give it a try and it was my present. Anyway, that's it for my book haul, the books I've gotten recently. Also, just a little update on the fundraiser I'm doing for the Save the Children organization. We have raised I think $355 already, which is really great. I'm so excited. And if you guys are interested in donating, I'll have the link down below. They do a lot of wonderful things for children all over the world. And they do a lot of relief efforts. And right now there was this hurricane that just hit in Texas. And there's another one headed to Florida. And I'm sure there's going to be relief efforts for that. So if you guys are interested in donating, I'll have the link down below. If you guys liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the little bell icon so you get notified when I post new videos and check out some of my videos right over here. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye!